so hello students here we have a problem on the topic maxima and minima and points of inflection the question is find the maximum and minimum values of the function y equal to x bar 5 minus 5 x bar 4 plus 5 x cube minus 1 discuss its nature at x is equal to 0 now here we have been given a function y so the function y is given to be x to the power 5 minus 5x to the power 4 plus 5x cube minus 1. Now we have to find the maximum and minimum values of this function. So for that first we should know this concept. So now a function y equal to f of x when it is maximum and when it is minimum. Now if we take d squared y by dx square and if that value is equal to 0 at a point, then the function is neither minimum nor maximum at that point. And if that value is greater than 0, that is, it is a positive value, then the function is said to be minimum at that point. And if that, if the value of d square y by dx square is less than, than 0, that is, a negative value, then the function f of x is said to be maximum at that point. So this is the concept of maxima and minima. So using this, now we shall find the maximum and minimum value of the given function. So now here we have y to be equal to this. First of all, we have to find dy by dx. So that is equal to 5x to the power 4 minus 5 4 times is 20 so 20 x to the power 3 plus 5 3 times is 15 x squared and this is a constant so it will become 0. Now after this we have to find d squared y by dx square and that is equal to 5 4 times is 20 so 20 x cube minus 20 multiplied with 3 so that is 60 x square plus 15 multiplied with 2 is 30x. So now we have found dy by dx and d squared y by dx square. Now we have to first find the turning point. So then uh, at that turning point we have to check the maxima and minimum value of this function. So how to find the turning point? The turning point is obtained by equating dy by dx to be equal to 0. So this is our next step. So, we have to put dy by dx to be equal to 0. Now, what is dy by dx? This. So, this value we have to put to be equal to 0. So, we will get 5x to the power 4 minus 20x cube plus 15x square to be equal to 0. We can see that x is common in all the terms. So, we can take it common out. So, we will be having 5x cube okay and then minus in this if it, x goes uh, actually x squared is common so x square we can take common so 5 x square minus 20 x plus 15 is equal to 0 so this is what we get so now from this we can say that the value of x is equal to 0 and this full term that is 5 x square minus 20 x plus 15 is equal to 0. Now dividing this equation by 5, what do we get? When we divide this by 5, this becomes x squared minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0. Now we have to factorize this equation. So it will be 3 multiplied by with 1 is 3. So by using the hill method, we can factorize it. And the factors will be 3 and 1. And we have to add these two and we have to get a negative sign. So it should be negative 3, negative 1. And so the values will be like x minus 3 multiplied with x minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore the values of x are x equal to 1 comma 3. And finally we have got three values of uh, x which, uh, which gives us the turning point. Now we shall check the check whether the given function is maximum or minimum at these turning points. 
so the first point is x equal to 0 so at the point x equal to 0 we have to take d squared y by dx square at the point x equal to 0 so that is the condition to check the maximum and minimum just now we saw here d squared y by dx square we have to take so so at this point x equal to 0 we have to evaluate d squared y by dx square now what is d squared y by dx square this one so here at the place of x we have to put 0 so when we put 0 here this term becomes 0 this is also 0 and this is also 0 and we see that d squared y by dx squared is completely becoming 0 and we know that if d squared y by dx square is equal to 0 then the function is neither minimum nor maximum at that point so therefore at the point x equal to 0 the function is neither minimum nor maximum so i have written that here now next what we have to do at the point x equal to 1 let us check so at the point x equal to 1 because the second point turning point is 1 so at the point 1 d squared y by dx square at the point 1 so x is equal to 1 so now here in this uh, in this function now we have to put x is equal to 1 so if we put x equal to 1 what we get is 20 multiplied by 1 cube and then minus 60 multiplied with 1 squared plus 30 multiplied with 1 so anyhow that is going to be 20 minus 60 plus 30 and so we will be getting this to be equal to minus 10 which is a negative value so we see that at the point x equal to 1 d square y by dx square is a negative value that is lesser than 0 so when we check out with this d squared y by dx square if it is lesser than 0 then the function is maximum at that point so the given function is maximum at x equal to 1 so i have written that here so at x equal to 1 the function is maximum now we have understood it is maximum now we have to find what is that maximum value for that at x equal to 0 i mean 1 at x equal to 1 we have to evaluate the value of y now what is y given to be this one that is x to the power 5 minus 5 x power 4 plus 5 x cube minus 1 here wherever we have x at that place we have to put 1 okay the value of x as 1 so if we put 1 what we get is so this is what we get when we substitute x equal to 1 in the given function y so that will be equal to 1 minus 5 plus 5 minus 1 and what we get is 0 so the value of y is equal to 0 therefore the maximum value is y equal to 0 at the point x equal to 1 so now next is we have uh, completed at the point x equal to 1 the next point is x equal to 3 so at this point we have to check whether the given function is maximum or minimum so let us check that now so at the point x equal to 3 we have to find d squared y by dx square at the point x equal to 3 so that will be equal to 20 multiplied with so here we have to put x equal to 3 so 3 cube minus 63 square plus 30 multiplied with 3 so on simplification what do we get so 20 multiplied by 3 cube is 27 and then minus 60 multiplied with 9 plus 30 multiplied with 3 so let us simplify this further so that is equal to 20 multiplied with 27 is 540 minus 60 multiplied with 9 so it is also 540 plus 30 multiplied with 3 is 90 and so we get the value to be equal to 90 so at the point x equal to 3 we are getting a positive value so this value is a positive value because it is greater than 0 so if uh, this is positive we know that the given uh, function is uh, at, when we are get, get it as positive it will be minimum so here i have written 
so whenever d square y by dx square is positive then the given function y equal to f of x is minimum at that point so using this we can say that at the point x equal to 3 the given function is minimum so i have written that here now how to obtain this minimum value we have to substitute x equal to 3 in the given function now this is the given function y so uh, y is equal to at the place of x we have to put 3 so 3 power 5 minus 5 multiplied with uh, 3 to the power 4 plus 5 multiplied with 3 cube negative 1 so now this will give us the minimum value of y at the point x equal to 3 so let us simplify this now so that will be equal to 3 to the power 5 is 243 minus uh, 5 multiplied with 3 to the power 4 which we get as 405 and then plus this is 135 minus 1 and so finally uh, subtracting everything we get this to be equal to so we get this to be equal to negative 28 so this is the minimum value of y at the point x equal to 3 now let us uh, learn about the nature of these given points I mean now uh, the question uh, in the question we have been asked to find discuss the nature of the given function at the point x uh, x equal to 0 so at this point we have to discuss the nature of this given function so in order to discuss its nature first we should know what is a point of inflection the condition for a point to be a point of inflection are first of all d squared y by dx squared at that point should be equal to 0 and the second condition is d cube y by dx cube at that point should not be equal to 0. So these are the two conditions for a point to be a point of inflection. Now here the given point is x is equals to 0. So we have to check whether x equal to 0 is a point of inflection or not. I mean uh, at the point x equal to 0 whether we are obtaining the point of inflection or not we ought, is what we have to check. For which we have to check these two conditions. Now first we shall see d squared y by dx squared. Already we have done d squared y by dx squared at the point x equal to 0 and we observed that it was equal to 0. So one of the condition is satisfied. Now we shall check the second condition. So in order to check the second condition we have to find d cube y by dx cube for the given function. So what was uh, d squared y by dx squared? I'll just take and write that here. So d squared by dx squared. What did we? What we obtained is. So this is d squared y by dx squared, which we have previously obtained. From this, we have to find d cube y by dx cube. So that will be equal to 60 x square, and then minus 120 x plus 30. Now we have to check at this point d cube y by dx cube at the point x equal to 0. So when we put x as 0 this term will get vanished this also will get vanished and we will be left out with 30 and this 30 is not equal to 0. Therefore the condition for the point x equal to 0 to be a point of inflection is satisfied. So at the point x equal to 0 the point of inflection exists. The point of inflection exists. So if this point of inflection exists, what can be that point is the question. So to find that, we have to put x equal to 0 in the equation y. So y is equal to, so what we already have y to be, so there we have to substitute x as 0. So this is the value of y which is given in the question. We have to put x, x as 0 in order to find the point of inflection. So when we put x as 0 this this and this vanishes and we get y to be equal to negative 1. Therefore the point 0 comma negative 1 is a point of inflection to the given curve. Hope you have understood the concept of maximum and minimum value for a given function and the point of inflection. Thank you.